Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm going to break it up into two separate parts. Um, I have a teacher haul part and I also have a personal haul part. Um, if you're not interested in either, I'm going to do the personal part first. So you can either fast forward or if you're not interested in the teacher part, you can go ahead and exit out once I do the personal part. Um, if you're interested in both, please stick around. Um, I will share it all with you and um, I have to keep checking the time to make sure that my phone doesn't shut off. But go ahead and subscribe to my channel and um, give this video a, um, a thumbs up. So I'll go ahead and get started. I picked up a few um, stocking stuffer ideas and just things like that. Um, so I finally found the reusable storage bags. Um, these are the small, the three piece. Um, I picked up one for myself and one for my mom. And I also found the reusable storage bags, the large two piece. Um, I also picked up one for myself and one for my mom. Our family does things a little bit different and a stocking um, is called a stocking bag and um, so every member of the family has a stocking bag and we all just contribute to everybody's stocking bag um, instead of worrying about like one huge gift or something like that. Um, these say drinks please. They are the eight piece paper coasters. Um, with the little lemon on them. I picked up these for my sister's stocking bag. Here's a better picture of them. Um, let's see. Everyone swears by these vitamin D3s. Um, the gummies, it's the peach, mango, and the strawberry. There's 14 in there. So I picked up some of these. Um, I'm hoping it gives me a little bit of energy. It says excellent for your busy on the go lifestyle. So I, I seem to always be yawning in front of my kids at school. And, um, so I want to see if those will help. Um, I bought two of these thin flashlights. Um, I'm going to put one in my mom's stocking bag and then I'm going to either put one in my sister's or, um, one in my brother-in-law's. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I picked up two just so we can decide. And they, I think they're magnetic because the things are like sticking together. <laughs> so some part of it is magnetic. Oh yeah, it says magnetic, portable. Press and hold to activate, two LEDs for directional light, battery included, keeping your purse, backpack, or on your fridge, or toolbox for quick access. So I thought this was pretty good and the light is like super bright. Um, I picked up two packs of these, I'm not sure what the other pack is, of the um, zebra pins. They are all black ink, but I just love the colors at the top. And my mom really likes zebra ink pens, um, the brand. So I picked up one pack for her and again one pack for myself. Um, and then this was something new I had never seen. Um, it is called Caramelized Cream Hershey's Gold Peanuts and Pretzels. So I picked this up. It says sweet meets salty, creamy meets crunchy. I don't know. We'll see. And it doesn't expire until October of 2018. So we'll see about that. Um, I picked up a box of tissues for my daughter. I uh, picked up some... Ga uh, Glad storage gallon bags. There's 10 of them in here. I picked up this Buffalo check box because uh, I need it. And yeah, I'm going to put my husband's present in here. Part of it, anyway. And I picked this up for my mom's stocking bag. Um, this is the Celebrity Word Hunt. Um, it's just uh, word searches. But they instead of them just going like straight down they do like crazy things like this one um you find them in there like boxed in this one they go sideways um and then there's just like little trivia questions at the bottom um little fun facts about the different people um you know just some stories and stuff so i thought that'd be a good read and she loves word searches so that is that. I think there's one more bag um, of personal stuff. I picked up some more of these sponges. These are the Estracel. Estracel More Sanitary Brillo Basics. There's two in here. Um, these are awesome sponges if you've never tried them. Um, and speaking of things I've never tried, I purchased the hot cocoa um, in the little K-Cups for my daughter's birthday party. And it is really good hot chocolate. And they work perfect in my, K um, in my Keurig. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for those. The one of the um, Dollar Tree workers had asked if I'd ever tried them, and I told her no, but that everyone said they were good, and they are. 
Um, so here's some Supreme Traditions garlic salt. Um, I've been needing some garlic salt for several recipes and I never have any even though I thought I had some, but there's that. And for the first time ever, I finally found some of the Bolero products. All I found were two of the vanilla cream bar soaps and they were both opened already and they stunk. So I don't know, but that's the first time I've ever seen them. So I did want to try it, but they were both opened already and like sitting out on the shelf. Like it was weird. Um, I picked up this little hot pad. I love trivets. Um, and I love the color of this is like a teal color, um, silicone. So I picked that up for myself. Um, I picked these up for my mom's stocking bag. She loves Mike and Ike's and she loves cherry Coke. So I'm hoping she'll like these. Uh, I don't know. I'll just stick them in there and find out. I bought these for my sister's stocking bag. They're the Chupa ch Chupa Chups. I don't know. Chupa, chupa Chups. I'm not sure. But there's 19 in here. And you can never find this big bag unless it's Halloween time. So I don't know if this is leftovers. <laughs> or if they just carry them but this is the only one I saw so and there's um cherry strawberry strawberry vanilla and cola and the cola actually tastes like coke so um and then I picked these up for my husband's stocking bag um the Haribo sour gold bears this is the Haribo twin snakes one side of the snake is sweet one side is sour and he loves these and Dollar Tree is the only place I've ever found these at. Um, and then I've never seen these before. They oh, they say new at the top. Um, it says Warheads Hotheads Extreme Heat Worms, sour, sweet, then the heat. Sizzling strawberry, atomic green apple, and fiery watermelon. I'm not sure, but I think he'll enjoy them. So. So that is all for the personal stuff. Um, I'm going to jump right into the teacher stuff just because I don't want my battery to cut off on me. So, again, if you're not interested, go ahead and click out now. But um, I picked up four of these little pockets. Um, they were a dollar in the teacher section at Target um, at the beginning of the school year, but I haven't seen them in Dollar Tree before. And they are the um, Teaching Tree Greenbrier 8.5 by 11 insert size. So, I picked up two blues. A yellow and a red. I'm going to um, redo one of my bulletin boards and I'm gonna hang these up and put my objectives for the day um, on here. So I don't have an objectives board because I took it down and I need one up. Um, I bought this electronic timer. Um, I don't know how good a quality it's gonna be but the battery's already included. Um, I just need it because my kids take forever for their morning work and I like to set a timer. Um, so I'm just gonna set this and they can see it and they'll hear it go off and know that their morning work is over um, oh here's the second pack of those pins i bought this big scratch pad assorted colors got some good colors in there um it just looks like this there's 160 sheets and it's a four by six pad um i'm always writing things down in school so i like to have notepads let's see I did go to uh, three different Dollar Trees and I have one more to go to, but I wasn't sure if I would get much there. So I just want to go ahead and do this haul. Um, I picked up these push pins. They say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they just have different designs. I thought these would be cute for my cork board. I picked up this bell and it says ring for a smile. Um, I have a rowdy bunch of kids this year, and so I thought this would get their attention a lot faster than me having to yell over them. Um, so, but it just says ring for a smile. They had other ones that say like ring for wine and ring for things that were not a school appropriate. It's a little scratched up, but it's okay. It's pretty loud, so. I thought that would be cute to get their attention. I picked up these magnets. There's eight pieces, and I picked up three packages. They're just orange. Um, my kids each have a number, so I'm going to number these and use these for my um, new clip chart. We, um, we clip down and up, um, and I'm going to use these for that as a different way to do it. Um, and I have another bag. I did pick up 
11 of these bins. I'm actually on the hunt for 11 more of them. Um, I am transforming my classroom, so wait for a new classroom tour. Um, I'm transforming my classroom into flexible seating and I need those buckets because I obviously I'm taking out the desks. They um, are going to put all of their belongings in there and then in our school K through K through I'm not sure third but I know K through second um, they have lockers in the classroom and then third through fifth has them out in the hallway so our lockers are in our room so um, each child has a locker these slide perfectly into a locker um, so I'm just gonna number them put all their stuff in here slide them into their lockers and it'll be easy peasy but they didn't have any more which is weird because I was just in there last week to buy one to make sure that it would work. And they had tons of them. White, blue, red. They had tons of them. And now I can only find 11 blue ones. So I am going to go to another Dollar Tree on my way home. Um, it just happened to be out of the way for right now. Um, and hopefully I can find the rest of them. Um, and the last few things I bought were some books. Um... They're all science and history related. We are an IB school, um, so we don't spend a ton of time on history or science, unfortunately. And so I thought this would be a good alternative for my kids. They all love to read, and they're all at different reading levels, so these books will be good for them. Um, but I picked up four that look like this. This one is Washington, D.C. This one is the American Revolution. This one is Alexander Hamilton. Um, when we get back from our Christmas break, we're gonna start um, a lesson on famous people. That's one of our IB units. Um, so we're gonna learn about some famous people, so I picked up that one. And then this one is the Battle of Gettysburg. I picked up this one. And they have about 24, 25 pages, so. And they're, I mean, they're, it's detailed. It's not, it's not like big writing either. It's It'll be good for some of my higher level kids. Um, I picked up these two science ones. This says um, Book of Animals, National Geographic, and this one's a Book of Planets. Oh, and it says on the back that there's several more. Um, space, the ocean, more animals, dinosaurs, and bugs. So, I didn't see those though. But again, I just wanted my kids to have some type of history and science somethings because we don't ever even pretty much touch on it. <laughs> I've been there two months now and we've talked about science one time and I don't know that we've ever even talked about history so that's that. Um, I picked up four of these type books, the hardback books. They're not the best quality um, but I thought for a dollar I mean if they got a little messed up it'd be okay. Um, but it's questions and answers about world history. Um, and then you just open it up and it's got pictures and legit questions and answers. So. This one is space. This one says ancient history. And this one just says science. Let's see there are let me see how many pages there are 29 pages in here 30 all together um, but the 30th is the glossary so the index whatever um, and then the last but not least I picked up this Boston Tea Party book um, again we don't ever talk about history and they need to know these types of things um, but this is like a legit story um, it's written by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Henry Cole um, but as you can see, it's like, it's like a, a story rather than information. They have like a timeline in here. Um, but yeah, so I thought these would be good reads, um, for some of my kiddos. Um, my school gives each teacher at the beginning of the year, um, a little over $400 to spend on their classroom. It, it's state money. Um, so I was able to purchase these books with that money and the buckets with that money. Um, 
I did purchase some other things um, from like Walmart and stuff. I purchased um, some file folders for my filing cabinet. I gotta get that in order because I haven't, I don't have any type of system for that. And my um, extra copies and stuff are starting to pile up and I don't want that to be a mess at the end of the year should I move schools or anything. Um, so I need to get that in order now before that comes. And yeah, I picked up some Astro Bright papers, pretty much every color that they offer. And that's pretty much all I've picked up. So like I said, I am going to run to another Dollar Tree. If I get anything else worth sharing, I'll let you know. But I am after 11 more of those buckets. Um, but other than that, that's all I have for you guys. And thank you for stopping back by my channel. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.